Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to another episode of Shadow Empire as New Ruthenia. Looking at the happenings since the last round, we see that Tiefstadt is, is racing us. Outstanding. AI is moving, looks to be retreating. Intelligent aliens are continuing to move back, most likely to fight up north. And the non-aligned um, wildlife is being dumb. Heavy guided RPGs, recon force. National budget allocations, I see no reason to change any of that. Fine as is. Air Force priorities, no changes. Oh, more slaves. I, I don't... Uh, I'll free them. Could sell a bunch of metal. Again. A lot more this time. A lot more. I will float us for quite some time. So I'll have as much of the rare metals for a little bit less. Which I'm inclined to do. Don't really need the rare metals yet. Ah, another terrible trade off. We will buy them. Best in helping fighting syndic cells. Government or autocracy. Take government every time. We can we can fight government a lot more effectively than we can autocracy. I'll cancel out the bonuses we got. That's okay. Uh, by tanks, they mean a couple of scout cars. Do we try it? I'm gonna lose some troops this way. But it opens up the front. Oh, or we lose none of the troops. I, I, I'll take that too. And your royal palace, too. One extra political power. Hmm. An interesting bonus. The astute of you may have noticed that I, um, I redrew the full zone border. More or less. That's not a permanent border, it's an ad hoc one. But it pretty much goes vertically from here. It leaves one XP boosting place. I think this is the one, or is this the for the people? Yeah, Governor XP plus 10. Governor XP plus 10. Or the Hermit's Cave. That gives both governors a boost to experience. Very much welcome. Got the silent caves, then another one. Yeah. So D pad gets the better XP boost. Get everybody moving. Might put this militia right here. slide these guys down one hex. Two hexes once we get the uh, fourth over to here. I'm wondering when these slavers are going to get irritated and fight. 
fight us for all this. Meanwhile down here. Oh yeah, that's right. We'll leave them escape route to the south west. Grab our cyber walker for the bonus. And consolidate our infantry. Things over here. That leaves us with two mines being built and the truck station complete. Means I can now redirect. Let's take a closer look. We can go through, pass here. This will go that way. We'll go this way. This one will go down and this way. This one will stop at the silent caves. We're not going to get too much further. Alrighty then. So if we want to go that around those mountains, go one hex to the southwest, and then we'll head northeast and around. Meanwhile, we can push this set. there, go around that desert, and try to provide as much supply as we can into the eastern portion of that mountain. Can't do much about this, I mean we can do a bypass. And cut the supply to this section. As we're not going to be using it anytime soon. Cut and cut. In fact, we don't even need it up here. Cut except for pull points. Need to remember to do that. Those are set up appropriately for pull points. Just a little bit more. We need about 30 there. I'll push a little bit more this way, but it really doesn't get us any additional distance, so it's not really that useful to have. It just pushes a little bit more. This one doesn't have a city yet, so I don't really want backflow. And that'll take care of all of those. How is blue steam? 
have finished the barracks. We are going to go ahead and start on the hospital. Yeah, hospital first. We need 600 more workers. Colonize. 600. And deep head. As enough. Need 1700 more population. And we'll give it to them as recruits, which that ends my dream of having a new brigade. Not likely to happen. Uh, asset wise, what do we have here? Agridome 2. Hydroponics requires high tech parts. If we go for 2, that's a lot of machinery. Five high tech parts, ten machinery. But will give us more food with thirty three hundred workers than we get with Agridome two with eleven thousand and one hundred workers. It's a heck of an investment, so I'm afraid we're going to need to wait for heavy industry so that we can get enough machinery. I'm willing to spend the high tech parts. And we can make machines, though. Yeah, we can bootstrap machines. Let's get the hydroponics going then. Certainly have the electricity now. That'll free up some population. We require a buggy. Uh, not replacement troops. Workshop and mission. Just make 300 more. We'll keep the reserve IP. And see how things turn out. Alright, we see Tiefstock continuing to race us out there. No, they got that last turn. They pulled back. Be nice for the independence would push a little. Then we have the Nomads pushing as well. Oh, cutting off supplies like you usually do. Non aligned in the southeast to attack. World's accomplishing very little. Oh, they continue to try to always try and cut off supply. That's what the AI does best. Not a lot of compliments for the AI, but that is one I can definitely give it. Oh, scientific religion, so we got that finally. We don't have to worry about maintaining a mind profile of 80. Physical storage, great. Fuel efficiency, also good. Propeller engine, eh. It's alright. Silent Cage, we're the first ones there, wow. Royal Palace, first one there with a lot of machinery that alleviates my concerns about making the hydroponics. Um, autocracy. No. We're not about autocracies. Don't ask me to. Black market discovered. Shutting down would give us 700. Letting them be would give us 100 a turn. I would like to let them be. Thankfully, this is good for either of our profiles. We need a lot more meritocracy than anything else. So, let them be and get that 100 credits a turn. Heads up. Offer to buy more slaves, hurts meritocracy, and our commerce profile for private careers has not yet taken. You kind of need to push that. 
puts us at risk of losing meritocracy? No. Meritocracy of 70. We will lose it with 50 or lower. Access offer to ancient site for Neo. Wants access to an ancient fortress. Proposed access to an ancient forest fortress in their nation. Private sector industrials would like to have sole access since this sus they suspect valuable knowledge might be gained on site. It would be very uh, surveillance oriented, which would be very bad, whereas the democracy we can fight, but still not particularly good for our profiles. Well, we can just now. And we're going to do that, despite the strategic implications. Brunio being up here. Yeah, it's not like they were friendly to begin with, so we didn't really lose much, did we? Now for the military, we're moving the 3rd Brigade down. Pivot in place. Good attack the nomads or militia, which will push them back. Is good. And move that way. I was hoping to come off more. I didn't really think that went through very well. I don't think we could have fully cut them off anyways. Oh ho ho! Somebody has his own control over here. Could potentially poke a road through here. But I think we're going to take the caves and wait. Clean up some of this territory with the foot infantry and hope that AI pushes some. I They're not going to. We want any of that territory we need to push. Probably from the second brigade's front. Although there's no real passes through. We should at least take up to the mountains or the defensive barrier that represents for the future conflict with Bernie. Oh, or Tiefstadt. Tiefstadt. Get our infantry further down here. We just don't want you going up that way, but we will follow you. I sure we'll continue on. Go. Lots of supply headed out this way. Lots of oil too. Okay, that all looks good. Watch it gets a little closer. Nobody in the interior to worry about. Blue Steam has their hospital ready to be completed. Has all the workers they need. EPED is has a surplus. 
which will get drafted into the workers, which is fine. One turn for the hydroponics, cycling center, and rare mine facilities are complete. Administrative strain is right there. We gotta we gotta hold back. We cannot move, build further buildings. Uh, if we do in the center of the city, that'll put more assets because each level counts. Centralizes it more. We'll pull off some of that administrative strain. And it's not that much to maintain. Probably the high command first, with the extra BP and political points. Aye, aye, sir. That'll be an easy solution. All of our troops set. No losses to worry about. Plenty of everything else. Alright, making some progress. Haven't played any strat cards. That is too difficult a card. I'd like to see it. Um, retirements, I think, would be excellent to begin upon. Let's take a look capability-wise. We have Ignatius Oxenate. We should do it by seniority. Do we know these ones are easy? Dusky Kirkland. Popular Union. Be easy to get rid of, but not oh, the Democratic Party. What are these factions? Democratic Party. Popular Union is mine and government. Democratic Party is democracy and commerce. We definitely don't want them. Same with the Lawful League. EU and the MSF are not great. So, Kathleen Hydras. One D twenty difficulty fourteen. It's going to be difficult to hit that. Now we have some bronzes. That will be easy. Successful roll. What's an ironborn? The cap two might want to just leave him. Merchant steel front. Cap three, very strong mind. I remember recruiting her, seeing her. I didn't know she'd start a whole faction that is kind of not that great. Relations are good, so not that much call to get rid of her, really. Let's look at this from a... ooh. Simon Bolt Path. App 4. Would love to continue to have you. But your loyalty is very suspect. Oh, the seniority is so high. What do we have him doing? Director of Supreme Council. He was our first one, and we kept him for quite a while. Relieved on turn 47 and was a commander of an MG brigade for another 20 turns after that. Well, can we spend a thousand? 
will be 70, 20, average 70. It will be above difficult. Successful. Graceful. Gracefully accepted. Down a thousand credits, but that is one person with a lot of seniority and not very much happiness that we no longer have to worry about. Cause less trouble. Moving on. Have we got the turn today? So... Yeah, that's... Yeah, we're, we're going to lose access to this lake, or sea, it is kind of large, as we see Teeth stop moving down there, nomads getting irritated but finally gotten back into their territory, cut off supply but that'll be easy to get back. And then the non-aligned pushing deeper? Seems foolish. Independence fighting back? Would like to see them succeed. But I wouldn't really want to fight what independence would succeed against that. One more turn of corruption and then it starts decreasing. Probably for like 10 to 12 turns. The epic of corruption. Meritocracy of at least 60. I would love to have that. Perneo offers us a gift. We will accept. We want good relations. Alien natives try to talk. Seems like an alien sort of scientist has installed an observation chair and shed. Yeah, we've seen that. Because, yeah, the whole the linguistics team. Which we will send. That'll wipe us out of political power. Spies and failure, democratic trade. Oh, resettlement. They will enrich us. Yes, please. That really results in... Uh, we don't need a relation increase with them. But we achieve our mission immediately. Or not? I'm confused. Did I misread something? Probably. Ah, the administrative strain is too high now. Now we are suffering a decrease in production efficiency across the board. This isn't the city, right? Yes, good. High command is still producing. We'll upgrade that to hydroponic 2. That'll take just a couple of turns, and we can afford to disband this now. One machine, 83 metal. That frees up population as well. Lots of spare workers. We need some more population for... Oh, uh, because they pulled. We have achieved what we wanted. So we can fight the monster now. Requires 4 PP. We don't have that. Bring down the last bit of the 3rd Brigade. Sneak around here, that'll cut them off entirely. Meanwhile, these ones will attack by themselves. All clear, sir. Full destruction there.
and probably here as well. Perfect. Now, where do we want to punch a road through? Probably come down straight. Cut in here. And then we'll bring... Oh, nope. I'll have to be further west. We can either split it off in the forest and come down this way. Looks like we have a pass through here and here. Or we can pull it down from here. And do a little bit of both. That'll help there. Why is that so expensive? That is low mountains. That is why. Hmm. That is low mountains as well. So we would have to backtrack slightly. But that would offer us supply down into this area. But no, I don't want the roads. I want the traffic signs. Pull points, block. Everything but pole points is going that way. I need full supply in both of those directions. And we'll do the same thing here. Block all but pull points. Push the rest of it. Down into this valley. These mush will continue on. Oh, those actually have trucks in them. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go into the high mountains. But it's the only one that has a zone of control. So I'm going to push them around into the low mountains. Militia are getting up here. And then in the far west. We can continue to push as needed. There we go. Nice and easy. And digging a little deeper into our road but building budget than I want it to. And that gets us to that point. We are out of political power. We've accomplished all of our Military movements for the round. 
We are sitting a little bit shy of where I can do another round. So that's the trade-off. More episodes this week, but they're a little bit shorter than I want to be, since I usually target 40 minutes as the time to hit. Yep, we're going to have to kill it here. Anyways, I uh, thank you for joining me. Appreciate you staying to the end. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.